Use a knife to unpack the package. Take out the accessory box. Take out the generator. Plug the power cord into the AC power socket of the generator. After the generator is connected to the power cord, power indicator color is orange. Press the power switch key to start the machine. Power indicator is green after startup. After startup, the screen will show the operation interface, transducer interface, ultrasonic scalpel function area, monopolar 1, monopolar function area 1, bipolar, bipolar function area, monopolar 2, monopolar function area 2, neutral electrode socket. After the neutral electrode plate is connected correctly, alarm reminder disappears and the indicator turns green. Connecting the foot pedal of the ultrasonic scalpel. When connecting, please make sure that the red mark on the cable of the ultrasonic scalpel foot pedal and the red mark on the socket of the generator coincide. After correct insertion, the foot pedal icon will be displayed in the upper right corner of the ultrasonic scalpel function area. If you are not equipped with the foot pedal, with the handle button, ultrasonic scalpel can be used normally. Connect the bipolar foot pedal. When connecting, please make sure that the red mark on the cable of the bipolar foot pedal and the red mark on the socket of the generator coincide. After correct insertion, the bipolar function area displays that the foot switch has been plugged into the bipolar sockets. The foot pedal icon is displayed in the upper right corner of the bipolar function area. Connecting the monopolar foot pedal. When connecting, please make sure that the red mark on the cable of the monopolar foot pedal and the red mark on the socket of the generator coincide. After correct insertion, the monopolar function area displays that the foot switch has been plugged into the monopolar sockets. The foot pedal icon will be displayed in the upper right corner of the monopolar function area. Central Area Ventilation Port USB Interface Ethernet Interface CAN Interface AC Power Socket Fuse Compartment Equipotential Grounding Terminal Introduction to Transducer The left part is for connecting the scalpel. The right part is the connector of the transducer used to connect the generator. Connecting and usage of transducer and ultrasonic scalpel. Firstly, plug the transducer connector into the generator according to its instruction. Then, in position indicator is on. After successful device identification, connect the ultrasonic scalpel according to the guidelines. Connecting and usage of transducer and ultrasonic scalpel. The length of each scalpel is 14 cm, 23 cm, 36 cm, and 45 cm, respectively. Assembling the ultrasonic scalpel. Remove the protective cap of the transducer connecting part. Connect the transducer connection part with the scalpel. Rotate the wheel on the scalpel. Tighten the scalpel and transducer by torque wrench. After two clicks, the transducer and scalpel are locked. Close the front end and remove the torque wrench from the front end of the ultrasonic scalpel. Now the transducer is connected to the ultrasonic scalpel. Open the scalpel jaw and activate for two seconds according to the instruction in the ultrasonic scalpel functional area. The device can be used normally after passing the test. Click the ultrasonic scalpel function area to choose EVS function. Click the increase gear button to increase the use gear of the ultrasonic scalpel. 
Click the gear reduction button to reduce the use gear of the ultrasonic scalpel. Click the bipolar function area to select the bipolar coagulation mode. Click the power increase button to increase the power used by the bipolar. Click the power reduction button to decrease the power used by the bipolar. Click monopolar function area 1 to select monopolar cutting mode. Click the power increase button to increase the cutting power of the monopolar. Click the power reduction button to decrease the cutting power of the monopolar. Click monopolar function area 1, coagulation function area, to select monopolar coagulation mode. Clicking the power increase button increases the monopolar coagulation power. The monopolar coagulation power can be reduced by clicking the power reduction button. Click the setup button to enter the setup menu. Press the scalpel key to enter the scalpel setup screen. Click the ESU button to enter the ESU setup screen. Click maintenance to access the maintenance screen. Click back to return to the main screen. Click the restore button. Click OK to restore the ESU parameter setup before the last shutdown. Click the parameter configuration key. Press this key to enter the parameter configuration interface. You can choose user-defined parameter configuration. After this, click OK to invoke the parameter configuration. After the neutral electrode plate is disconnected, the screen displays an error. The neutral electrode is connected abnormally. Click Alarm Confirm and press this key to disable the alarm sound. This icon is grayed out. The ultrasonic scalpel max can be excited by pressing the foot pedal or handle button. At the same time, the ultrasonic scalpel function area and the transducer in position indicator are illuminated synchronously. The ultrasonic scalpel MIN can be excited by pressing the foot pedal or handle button. At the same time, the ultrasonic scalpel function area and the transducer in position indicator are illuminated synchronously. Press and hold the power key to shut down the generator. Remove the transducer and the ultrasonic scalpel assembly. Close the jaw and put the torque wrench over the shaft. Hold the transducer handle with one hand and use a torque wrench to loosen the connection between the transducer and scalpel. Rotate the wheel of scalpel to quickly remove the scalpel and transducer. Bipolar Usage The usage of a bipolar, press the foot pedal to activate bipolar coagulation function. At the same time, the bipolar functional area and bipolar cable indicator are illuminated synchronously. The installation and usage of bipolar. Install the bipolar electrode cable with the bipolar in place. In the case of such bipolar cables with insulating heads, the bipolar device presence detection function must be disabled. Insert the bipolar electrode cable into the bipolar interface socket. In position indicator does not light up. Click Setup. Click Maintenance. Click User Maintenance. Please consult MineRay Manufacturer Engineer for password. Click the device presence detection. Disable bipolar in position detection. The bipolar indicator is on. Tap back continuously to return to the main screen. When you press the foot pedal, the bipolar energy can be normally output. At the same time, the bipolar functional area and the bipolar electrode cable in position indicator are illuminated synchronously. The use of monopolar instruments. Press the button on the electric pen or use the foot pedal with CUT to excite the pen. When excitation is applied, the monopolar functional area 1, cutting area, and monopolar indicator will be illuminated at the same time. Monopolar excitation can be performed by pressing the electrical button on the pen or by pressing foot pedal with coagulation. 
When excitation is applied, the monopolar functional area 1, coagulation area, and monopolar indicator will be illuminated at the same time. If monopolar function is used after startup, please connect the patient properly and then connect the neutral electrode cable to the neutral electrode socket on the generator. This prompt indicates that the bipolar foot pedal is properly connected. The bipolar one foot pedal is connected to the bipolar pedal socket. The bipolar double foot pedal can also be connected to the bipolar foot pedal, but only the coagulation function is supported. This prompt indicates that the foot pedal of the ultrasonic scalpel is not connected correctly. Please insert the foot pedal into the correct socket. Please insert ultrasonic scalpel foot pedal connector to ultrasonic scalpel foot pedal socket. This prompt indicates that the ultrasonic scalpel assembly is loose. Please check and tighten the ultrasonic scalpel assembly. This indicates that the scalpel jaw did not open during the test. Please check and keep the jaws open. This prompt indicates abnormal scalpel excitation. Please remove the scalpel from the surgical field and clean the scalpel jaw. This prompt indicates that the transducer function is abnormal. Please replace the transducer. This prompt indicates that the transducer should be replaced after 10 uses. This prompt indicates replacing the transducer after one use. This prompt indicates that the transducer has reached the maximum service life. Please replace it. Do not activate two kinds of instruments simultaneously. UP700 Series Common Alarm Handling List the common alarm information, possible causes, and solutions. Cleaning, Disinfection, and Sterilization Cleaning Before cleaning the equipment, please consult the local hospital guidelines for medical equipment cleaning. The cleaning methods are as follows. 1. Power off the device and unplug the power cord. 2. Disconnect the foot switch, ultrasonic scalpel, and electrosurgical instruments. 3. Clean the device with a mild detergent in accordance with the detergent manufacturer's instructions for use. 4. Wipe away the residual detergent on the device surface and dry the device. Please use recommended detergents such as water, 75% ethanol, and 3M Versatile Strong Enzyme Wash Solution. Cleaning Steps of Transducer After the surgery is completed, there may be blood, body fluid, and patient stains on the transducer. The medical personnel can simply wipe the transducer with gauze dipped with a little alcohol, nonwoven cloth, or cotton balls and then repeatedly rinse the transducer with the flowing purified water or deionized water. During the rinsing, use soft brush to assist in brushing away stains, and finally dry the water stains with a clean dry wipe or blow dry the transducer with an air gun. Do not use ultrasound to clean the transducer, otherwise serious damage may occur. Disinfection Disinfect the equipment according to your hospital or local disinfection procedures. Clean the system before disinfection. Dilute and use the disinfectant in accordance with the disinfectant manufacturer's instructions for use. It is recommended that the equipment be sterilized using recommended disinfectants. Disinfection of the transducer after cleaning the transducer, use a gauze or non-woven fabric dipped with a proper amount of disinfectant and wipe the transducer cable and body repeatedly. Finally, use a wet gauze or non-woven fabric to wrap the transducer for about 5 to 10 minutes, based on the effective time of the disinfectant. After that, use a flowing purified water or deionized water to rinse off the disinfectant on the surface of the transducer. Finally, use a clean dry wipe to dry the water stain. Then, use an air gun to dry the transducer. Please use the recommended disinfectant. For the use method, please look to see the disinfectant manual.
Sterilization Sterilization of transducers Sterilize the transducers according to the sterilization procedures of your area or hospital. Sterilize the transducers after cleaning and disinfection. It is recommended to sterilize the transducers by using ethylene oxide and autoclave sterilization. Precautions for use and maintenance 1. The environment and power supply meet the requirements and there should be no condensation. 2. The device housing is free of dirt, the touchscreen is not cracked or damaged, the labels are not loose, and the characters are clear. 3. The cable is not damaged. 4. The cables are securely connected to the device. 5. All ports and connectors are not loose, deformed, damaged, or dirty. 6. There are no sundries on the device cover, and the air vent is not covered with dust or other materials. 7. Startup check. The screen display is normal. 8. The ultrasonic scalpel is for single use. 9. The life of the transducer is 100 surgeries.